Welcome to my channel. In this session, we will discuss a question on percentages from a previous CAT paper. At the end of the year 1998, Shepard bought 9 dozen goats. Henceforth, every year, he added P% percent of the goats at the beginning of the year and sold Q% percent of the goats at the end of the year, where P is greater than 0 and Q is greater than 0. If Shepard had 9 dozen goats at the end of year 2002, after making the sales for that year, which of the following is true? This question can be answered in two different ways. One, by applying a simple logic, taking an example. Second one is writing an equation. We'll try and do both. Now, for example, instead of taking this nine dozen goats, let me say he started with 100. See, what is important is he bought nine dozen goats means he started with nine dozen goats. Finally, at the end of four years also, he ended with nine dozen goats means you you started with some number, increased by some number, reduced by some percentage. Finally, you are at the end of it, you have the same number. So that's why let us assume that I start with 100 for easy calculation sake. And I increased by some percentage. I added P percent, no, some number I'll take instead of P. So let us say I increased it by 25 percent. 25 percent on 100 is 25. So it will become 125. Now, I should reduce this 125 by some percentage so that I'll get back to the original value. That is the key. You should start with 9 and you're ending with 9. Here I'm starting with 100. I should end with 100. So now, from 125, if I want to come back to 100 means what should be the reduction? 125, 100, the difference is 25 is the reduction from 125 into 100 means you can see 1 by 5, 20%. So if you have increased it by 25%, you should reduce it by 20%. Is it not less? Why? Because while absolute value this 125 is 25 more than 100, or absolute value this, this 100 is 25 less than 125, but in percentage value, here the growth is on a small number 100, hence the percentage is it will be more. 25 on 100 will be 25%, whereas here the fall 25 is from 125, from higher denominator. Hence, the percentage value will be less. So, whenever you are increasing by some percentage, say P percentage and reducing by Q percentage and in the process you are getting the same value means the P value should be, the percentage growth should be more than the percentage fall. So, P should be greater than Q. Whether it is at the end of, see every year you are increasing by P percent and reducing by Q percent means 1998 to 2002 at the end of four years if you have the same value means at the end of every year also you will have same value then only at the end of four years you will have same value i can say p is greater than q so this is a simple logic or if i try to put this in equation so let us say he started with nine dozen goats he increased it by p percent so if you are increasing by p percent the result will be one plus p percent of this nine dozens why i had nine dozens I to increase this 9 dozens by P percent means P percent of 9 means if I take 9 common, it is 1 plus P percent. That's what we are writing. Next, you are reducing it by, I mean you are selling Q percent means the number of goods will come down by Q percent. It will be 1 minus Q percent because it is coming down. And the result is going to be what? It is the same as the beginning that is 9 goods. 9, 9 gets cancelled. If you simplify this, 1 plus P by 100 minus q by 100 minus pq by 100 square equals to 1. Both sides 1 gets cancelled. p by 100 minus q by 100 is p minus q by 100 equals to, this goes other side, pq by 100 square, 100 we can cancel it. p minus q is equal to pq by 100. If you see p is positive, greater than 0 means positive, q is also greater than 0 means positive. If P and Q are positive, the product P into Q will be positive. So PQ by 100 is also a positive value. If P minus Q is positive value means, P minus Q is positive means it can happen only when P is greater than Q. Hence, my answer is choice 3. This is another way of explaining the question. Either way, it is P greater than Q. Students, for more on uh, percentages, profit and loss, simple interest and compound interest, please reach my profile on Udemy. The link is given below where you find a course on arithmetic, which is a comprehensive course on these three areas. Thank you.